All right, guys, welcome back. So, uh, pulling the steering knuckle apart on this one to do a boot. Uh, I know a lot of people, and, and I may have shown this before, but it's been so long, I, I don't remember. I know a lot of people have a hard time getting this steering arm off of the knuckle because um, you've got tapered cone bushings that go down in alongside these these studs and the nuts push them down in and they're, they're taper fit, press fit and they're kind of a pain to come out so um, you notice there's no penetrating oil or nothing on them you don't usually need that what you do need is a 32 ounce ball peen and technique so what I do is I hit it right here directly on the side straight on the side and it usually pops up and off so let's uh let's just see yep there went the cone washers and it's off so uh yeah i know all kind of shit flew like the bottom uh, kingpin bushing cover fell off because I've already got those bolts out and lock washers went flying and one of the cone washers went and yeah but there you go it's it's off so the cone washers just come right up and out now so you can well that one's a little stuck but it'll come out then you just get under it with a screwdriver usually and work it up and out shape bushings out this one being a bit of a butt but it is coming Hmm. Okay. So when they get like that, you give it yourself enough space, you can grab the bushing with channel locks and kind of just work it. Sometimes they will unscrew just like a nut. Sometimes they will uh, continue to bite you like this one. But uh, normally once they pop up out of the arm, they just slide off. I don't know why this one's being an asshole. Uh. See, because it's cone shaped, every time you hit the steering arm on the side, it pushes the bushing up on the stud. It's sometimes a bit slow, but. See, it is coming. It's just taking its time. <sighs> Dead 
it's uh, I don't know. I guess this one just fits a little tighter than the others did. Don't worry about marking it up with the pliers because when you put it back in and it presses back in there, it's just going to conform to the shape of the bore again. So you're not going to hurt it by marking it up with channel locks. That doesn't matter a bit. Oh yeah, I see it's got threads cut on the inside of this one. They had that one tighten real good. Uh, it is too hot for this shit. Really. shape washers off and the steering arm off. So that there, gentlemen, ladies, if there are any of you still watching, is how you remove the steering arm without too much trouble. So hopefully that was a helpful little tip for you and uh, we will see you on the next one. Don't, uh, don't forget to check out our sponsors in the comments or uh, in the description section if you need parts for your trucks. Thanks. See you later.